many senior BJP leaders have raised the banner of revolt, especially after the announcement of the second list of candidates for the May 10th Assembly elections. In this episode of TNI Talk Room, we have former BJP leader B. Somashekar, who resigned from the party's primary membership on the occasion of Ambedkar Jayanti, claiming that he did so because the BJP is caste-ridden and unfair to schedule castes. Soma Shekhar was a BJP state vice president for three years and was serving as an executive member of the Saffron Party. During the interview, he stated that he felt discriminated against and suffocated within the party due to pervasive casteism. Hello and welcome to the New Indian Express Online. I'm Bansi Kalapa. With me is former minister and former JDU state president, Mr. B. Somshekar. Mr. Somshekar, you had addressed a press meet today where you said uh, something very important. What did you announce at the press meet today? So, I have announced my resignation mm -hmm. from the BJP party today. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, any particular reason why you have resigned from Bharatiya Janata Party? See, I was the president of JDU, which was an alliance with the BJP okay. from 1998 onwards. Mm -hmm. After the BJP, after the JDU became weak, mm -hmm. uh, we had to join directly the BJP at the time of Narendra Modi being projected as Prime Ministerial candidate in 2014. Okay. From 2014 onwards till now, for the last 10 years, I was in BJP. I was for three years president, vice president of the party, and now I am the executive committee member of the party. Mm -hmm. For all these years, I was in a suffocating position. I said, scheduled caste leader. Mm -hmm. I never felt mm -hmm. that I am free from uh, inequality, okay. suppression. Mm -hmm. I was feeling a sense of uh, humiliation, mm -hmm. a silent subordination of inferiority. Mm -hmm. Though I was not being given any position, mm -hmm. at least Mm -hmm. I should have been kept in a respectable position in the party. Okay. From vice presidentship, there, there were ten vice presidentship. Mm -hmm. All the vice presidents which were uh, given along with me have been rehabilitated or have been made minister. Some of them have become MLA and president. I was the only person mm -hmm. as vice president. I have not been made anything at all. Mm -hmm. Two central governments have come, and here for the last three, four, three and a half years, state BJP government has also there. Mm -hmm. Not a single position has been awarded, mm -hmm. though I was considered to be a very effective minister, mm -hmm. did some remarkable work as minister, mm -hmm. unique, I have brought some unique programs, mm -hmm. policies, which others have never done it, mm -hmm. party knows it, but even then, mm -hmm. I have not been given any responsibility at all, mm -hmm. either in the party or in the government. Mm -hmm. And here I have been experiencing the sense of division among division, mm -hmm. caste among caste. Mm -hmm. they, are divide, they are dividing the caste into different places. Mm -hmm. They are splitting social equilibrium. Mm -hmm. They have not brought about uniformity in social, mm -hmm. social equilibrium. Mm -hmm. That's what I was going to. Mm -hmm. And another interesting fact is, mm -hmm. they have created a hatred mm -hmm. to Muslims in our country. Mm -hmm. That is not correct. Mm -hmm. That this is a secular country. Mm -hmm. We have to maintain the secular fabric of the mm -hmm. constitution always provides mm -hmm. equality among the citizens, mm -hmm. respect to all citizens. Mm -hmm. But even then, they are not following the equality, mm -hmm. freedom. That's what I found for the last 10 years. Okay. Also, at the press meet, you said that scheduled caste leaders, like you know, uh, others also, have not been treated on par with the others. And you gave some examples. You know, yes, can yes, you just yes. reiterate yes, that yes. point? Because here, 
lastly he found out that is a most communal party mm-hmm. communal party mm-hmm. they are treating people in different terms mm-hmm. they are treating above this so civil society mm-hmm. to other community mm-hmm. they are treating scheduled caste and other backward classes mm-hmm. like lower caste mm-hmm. they are said in a settled way mm-hmm. in a calculated way mm-hmm. they are practicing varna ashrama dharma mm-hmm. that is what mm-hmm. uh, the hindutva idea of like guru mukti mm-hmm. and given a statement on occasion also mm-hmm. he said we need mm-hmm. this society a cosmopolitan system mm-hmm. we should not give a liberal system mm-hmm. liberal system is the ethos of constitution mm-hmm. they say traditional system mm-hmm. like varna ashrama dharma mm-hmm. the lower caste must be lower upper caste must be lower that is what they have been seen in a certain way mm-hmm. they are doing practicing it okay you spoke about nero olekar you also spoke about kumara swami mp kumara swami who were also scheduled caste leaders yes. and you were not too happy with what happened to them yes because mission nero olekar nero has been mla for the last three terms mm-hmm. he should have been at least given a ministership in this government Mm-hmm. that was also denied to him mm-hmm. kumar sami is also two times or three times mla mm-hmm. from budi mm-hmm. they have created some uh, disturbances to them mm-hmm. either intentionally or unintentionally mm-hmm. they have been made scapegoat mm-hmm. instead let alone giving the ministers to to, to them mm-hmm. at least they have not, not been rehabilitated mm-hmm. again as a mla mm-hmm. even there was this petty Uh, case against nero olekar mm-hmm. they have been jailed jailed for two years mm-hmm. he has brought stay from the court mm-hmm. but even then he has not been considered for seat mm-hmm. so these two mm-hmm. and then another interesting thing one a is of sir belong to schedule caste mm-hmm. he joined after retirement he joined the mm-hmm. party in about 8 7 uh, 8 years back mm-hmm. he vehemently tried to become an mla I get a ticket to Anikal. Mm-hmm. He spent lot of money also. Mm-hmm. He was there. He was assured the ticket by Rudna. He was not given the ticket. Mm-hmm. Then on the other hand, another mm-hmm. I, retired IPS officer mm-hmm. who was who joined first as a APP candidate. Mm-hmm. He was there for some time. Mm-hmm. He immediately shifted to BJP. Mm-hmm. He would few days back. Mm-hmm. He was given a ticket to from Rasulpur. the brahmin mm-hmm. has been given a ticket without any wait mm-hmm. so a settled caste person mm-hmm. though he has joined the party for 7 8 years mm-hmm. he has been denied he has been denied ticket. and another interesting thing mm-hmm. even among settled castes mm-hmm. they are dividing touchables and untouchables mm-hmm. untouchables are they are doing given that set this set mm-hmm. see recently an as officer mm-hmm. anil kumar has been retired mm-hmm. recently about Yes, 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 yes. And he has been nominated as a BJP candidate from Kota, Kota, where Parameshwar is contesting. Yes, from yes, yes. From the Congress, from the Congress. Yes. So they are dividing caste among caste. Mm-hmm. They are not bringing equilibrium among the social mm-hmm. system. Mm-hmm. This is what has hurted me. Mm-hmm. This I have been uh, really pained. Mm-hmm. The approach of BJP, mm-hmm. and this for me. intentionally they have made a scapegoat for some of the mla involved by sure mm-hmm. by surreptitious understanding between bjp mm-hmm. and then jds mm-hmm. they thought that jds will will join bjp mm-hmm. to form the government mm-hmm. they are saying there was this surreptitious understanding the last yes, time yes that was there mm-hmm. everybody knows it mm-hmm. we have made in the 2018 election 2018 election okay. and then they have ditched the jds have ditched them mm-hmm. they have joined the congress mm-hmm. and formed the government mm-hmm. this time also mm-hmm. i thought that this time i am going to win mm-hmm. this election there was every chance of getting me elected there mm-hmm. i asked them requested them mm-hmm. at least for the last this is my last election mm-hmm. give me ticket this time party has been saying that anyone who's you know Uh, older and senior shouldn't be considered so is that the criteria <laughs> no 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 there there is no such criteria at all mm-hmm. it is a likes and dislikes based on caste based on caste 
whoever has given cash, mm -hmm. they have been considered. And who are, who are uh, representing the upper car, they are being considered. Mm -hmm. A lower cash have been delegated to the background. Mm -hmm. this anyone, is the, anyone of your age has been given the ticket? Yes, yes. You are 71 years old. No, sir, sir, yes. But mm -hmm. even then, I am, uh, Mr. Somanna has been elder to me. Oh. He has been given two seats. He has been given two seats. Yes. Two seats. Tipper Reddy has been given. Yeah, Tipper. And then Karjol. Mm -hmm. They are also my, my guests. That is not the criteria. Mm -hmm. Those who have given money to the party, mm -hmm. those who have given money to the uh, leaders, mm -hmm. they have been allotting the seat. Okay, one of the allegations against you that the party says is that in Malwali, you lost last time. Yes. You lost the occasion before that. So they are saying we have given you two opportunities. Which so in, only in, one in, opportunity. On 2018. 18. 18. Mm -hmm. That also with the surreptitious understanding between JDA, we were made to, to scapegoat. Okay. That was intention of the party. Mm -hmm. But even then, 2019 parliament election, mm -hmm. I was uh, asked to meet Prime Minister mm -hmm. and the Namisha. Mm -hmm. They wanted to interview me mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. Mr. Srinivas Prasad mm -hmm. had already said mm -hmm. that I am not healthy now. Yeah. I am going to retire yes, from yes, that. Yes, yes, yes. At that moment, mm -hmm. I was asked to meet them mm -hmm. because uh, they wanted to see me with any mm -hmm. Then I met uh, Prime Minister Ramisha. Mm -hmm. and then they were happy with me. Mm -hmm. They had an eye on me to mm -hmm. give the Chamraj Nagar mm -hmm. Finally, mm -hmm. Mr. Edwarappa and other people prevailed upon Srinivas Prasad himself mm -hmm. just to contact whatever expenditure mm -hmm. you will incur. Mm -hmm. You contact. He was and he has anyway been uh, four then terms. For the last then. four years, mm -hmm. he could not move out from the house. Okay. That was also waste. Mm -hmm. If I were to be the mm -hmm. MP, I would have done some good work as a mm -hmm. new, new district. Mm -hmm. I would have developed it. Mm -hmm. But uh, Kolar also, they mm -hmm. have given. Uh, yeah, we could also not do anything. Mm -hmm. No, they will select a person who cannot do anything. We should not do anything. Mm -hmm. Just for representation thing, they give you. They should not be able to do anything. Mm -hmm. That is the strategy of them. Mm -hmm. Here, mm -hmm. untouchables, they have been relegated to the background. Mm -hmm. Touchables are being given more seats. Because they cannot fight the constitutional provision. Mm -hmm. They will, uh, socially they will be with them only. Mm -hmm. They have given more than uh, 9 to 10 seats mm -hmm. for touchables. Nambani, mm -hmm. In place of uh, right candidates. Okay. Now, as far as Malwali is concerned, in the press meet you said earlier in Malwali, BJP used to lose deposit, they would get just 1000 or 1500 votes. But ever since you have taken over there, it has been increased. You have increased it about nearly 10, eight, more eight than 10, 11, Yeah, so 10, 11,000. So, from you know, it is an increase. It is an increase. But Work still needs to be done. Then they would, this time, mm -hmm. people were ready to elect a BJP candidate, provided I was given the ticket. Okay. That was the trend in the constituency. Mm -hmm. But they have put cold water on them. Mm -hmm. Because last time Anadani uh, won. Because of their understanding. Absolutely. He won with about a lakh plus oh. votes. And because the entire Lingayat community, mm -hmm. which were traditionally support of BJP, mm -hmm. they have shifted to Okay. Uh, JDL. And uh, the second place was taken by Narendra Nath Swami. Narendra Swami. Okay, Narendra Swami. And uh, he managed to get second position. But this time, mm -hmm. people of Malwali were disgusted with the performance of both the mm -hmm. Congress candidate and JDS candidate. Mm -hmm. Because they had seen me for the last four terms. Mm -hmm. I had done wonderful work. Mm -hmm. They were satisfied with my performance. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. They were able to elect me. Mm -hmm. But at this time, mm -hmm. they were cut my throat. Okay, now uh, you have resigned. Have you put in your papers? Have you resigned? Are you planning to resign later in the day? No, I have announced my resignation through the press. Okay. The resignation letter will follow. Okay. The public... Uh, okay. In, on, uh, in your resignation, are you going to point out some issues in the yes, Bharatiya yes, Janta Party? That's so, why I have taken some time mm -hmm. to prepare the letter. Mm -hmm. Because it, it was too early to mm -hmm. prepare the letter. Mm -hmm. By right now, by the evening mm -hmm. also. We will prepare a detailed data, mm -hmm. uh, the reasons on which 
Okay. Also, one of the grouses you mentioned in the press meet was that while certain leaders who were not given the ticket, the party at least had the courtesy to telephone them, call them, speak to them. Yes. But they did not do that with you. That is a discrimination based on caste. Okay. Because mm -hmm. I was the only senior most in Malay mm -hmm. in the party itself. Mm -hmm. After Yadurappa mm -hmm. declared that I am not going to contest this. Mm -hmm. I was the only person of 83 batch remained as to contest the election. Okay. They should have given at least respect for me. Mm -hmm. That they did not do it. Mm -hmm. See, they have given scant respect for community like our community. Mm -hmm. All right, and along with you, uh, another office bearer of Mandya, Vice President, has also yeah, resigned. Yeah, Mr. Siddhe Gowda. Put Siddhe Gowda. Put Siddhe Gowda. Uh, yeah, can you just explain that? No, he was also a very, he is a liar mm -hmm. in Mysore, mm -hmm. and he is Vice President of the uh, Liars Association of Mysore District. Okay. He is one of the prominent backward club leaders, Kuruba Community Leader. Okay. He has been with me for the last 20 years. Mm -hmm. He was there as Vice President of the District of BJP for the last 10 years. Okay. He was given an uh, opportunity to be uh, in charge of Puntaloka. Okay. But even then he has not been given any. Okay. And your other followers are also going to resign? Right, going to resign. Okay. So by the end of the day, are you are you going to take a decision what next? Are you going to contest as an now independent? That I will, after discussing with my followers, my friends, mm -hmm. my supporters, I will take a decision about the next step. Okay. And also one final question. Have you spoken to them about your resignation today? Uh, some of them know it. Okay. Some of them I have, I have not known it. Okay. They will be known on tomorrow by okay. another okay. day. Okay. Also you have chosen to uh, resign on the occasion of, you know, the birth. Uh, uh, 38 to yeah. Dr. Sanjir, Dr. Yeah. Of Dr. I have Ambedkar. chosen this date because mm -hmm. many of the Pra constitutional provisions are being diluted by this government. Okay. They have twisted the constitutional provision. Okay. As a mark of respect to Baba Sahib, okay. I have resigned from the BJP okay. to remember this date. Okay. So there it is, very senior leader from the Bharatiya Janata Party, someone who served as a former minister, someone who served as JDU state president, Mr. B. Somshekar, who has represented the constituency four times has resigned, he has announced his resignation at a press meet, he has said that he wishes to resign from the primary membership and every other association with the Bharatiya Janata Party. And from what he is saying, it is obvious that he is very pained with the party. What will happen in the coming days? Will the party reach out to him? All these are questions before us. With camera person Nagaraj Gadekal, this is Bansi for the New Indian Express Online.